Well, good evening, everybody from Juniata. The Trojans have traveled over the river and through the woods here to meet on this uh, kind of a sloppy, muddy field of these uh, hometown Juniata Indians. So the Trojans coming up here with a very, very good record now with a four and two uh, record, four and three overall, four and uh, two in the league so uh that doesn't add right does it <laughs> well whatever we have won four i think it's four uh conference ball games in a row here now and come up here to meet these uh juniat indians who you never know what these guys are going to have and we're going to find out here in just a moment it is a uh, pretty nice night here kind of cool and damp up here in juniat as it mostly always is but there's uh, no wind to speak of so uh beside the field conditions being a little treacherous on the footing out here it should be a pretty good night for uh, green and crew out here tonight so we'll be set with the opening toss of the coin here in just a moment and then we'll get on with this big important football game for this young trojan ball club co-captains tonight for the trojans number three uh, green number 54 dietrich and number 34 hoover and uh, we have some numbers for the folks that will handle the ball for the Juniata Indians and otherwise uh, we have the Trojan lineup with us tonight which we know most of the guys now so we won't have too much trouble with them I believe and we'll be getting underway here in just a sec we'll watch for the toss of the coin coming up here and uh, Trojans I know are anxious to get this game in to uh, see if we can't continue our winning ways here now and put a finish off to a really really good season so far so got a couple of games to go here now three in fact uh, we need or two rather we have tri-valley next week and then uh, halifax as the closeout for this uh, season so uh, <clears throat> the coin, uh, coin was tossed the trojans have won and have deferred until the second half so the trojans will kick off to the juniat indians here to begin tonight's ball game and we'll be back with that opening kickoff here as it looks as though the trojans will be kicking right to left and they will be uh, they will be defending the west goal here at the or rather the north goal here at the ballpark so we set to go here in just one moment mark may seeing it up here for uda and he will do the kicking off for the trojans tonight let's hope mark has a big night with a lot of kickoffs means we scored a bunch of points mark a having a terrific season on his own out here as a receiver and as a defensive back but the trojans really have come to uh, play here lately and by gosh let's hope we have a good ball game tonight so here we go with the opening kick of tonight's ball game it's going to go down the field sort of over to the far side taken out there at the 20 yard line and upfield he comes here now and the field markings are a little rough to see but it looks like he'll be at about the uh 30 three yard line something like that 34 yard line 33 yard line <laughs> okay looks like it'll be on a 33 first and 10. <clears throat> Jenny had a quarterback is uh, Sperry he's the number 25 out there his real running back is Chris Fultz lines up in the backfield behind him and on the first play it's going to be handed off here to Fultz I believe it is we'll see he bounces loose and comes all the way up here. Oh, it's Trent Snyder, 31. It wasn't 33. So anyway, picked up three on the play. It'll be second down and seven. Second down and three for the hometown Indians. In motion he goes. Oh, there's the left end uh, pulling up on the play. So that'll cost the uh, Indians five and make it second down and 12. These guys, the number wise here, as soon as we get an opportunity, because as the night goes on, these uh, jerseys are going to be faded into a brown mud. Pass, passing, looking, dumping one over this way, incomplete. Number 12, Trapper Flanky with a receiver, but it goes to an incompletion, it'll be third down and uh, 12. Brock Stone, the man on the coverage that time. But out there you have 54, Dietrich Stone, 61. Uh, 51, pick him up here in a second. 59 is Langens. 
These guys have played really, really well last several ball games. <clears throat> Third and 12. Pitches over there to that 33 guy, and he's going to be tripped up before he gets much more than back to the original line of scrimmage. Good stop made in there by several Trojans, and closing uh, 36, Todd Culva making a stop in there for UD from his defensive end position. It'll bring up a fourth down, and the Trojans, who elected to kick off to begin the football game, have done what they wanted to do, and that is hold them back here and force a punt. So... The Juniata Indians will be punting to the Trojans and we'll see if we can get a good run back here. Good snap. Punt nice and high. Going to come down here around the 40-yard line. Take it on the fly over there. Up to the 45 he goes, which is practically right out in front of us. And uh, Joe Whitmer with the return for UD. So it's first and 10 Trojans. Michael Weldon, 51 out there for UDA. Enders flanks on the far side of the field along with uh, Mace. Lone set, well, two sets in the backfield now. We'll pick these guys up in a sec. Handoff is to Hoover, and Hoover drags it out here, still on his feet. Now he's tackled at about the 46-yard uh, line. Gain of four on the play. Picked up two. It'll be second down and eight. Second down, UD. Pitches over this way. Ball bobbled, and Hoover will collect it back in there. Pitch kind of behind uh, Tony, and uh, he had to kind of reach back for it. And with the combination of the field conditions, uh, he was very fortunate to grab that one and hang on. It's a loss of five on a play. It'll be third and 13 for UD. The Trojans go to the shotgun formation. Long count. Green has it. He's looking for somebody to fire one through. Fires one down the field here. Man is open, and it is incomplete. Intended for Mace. Pass intended for number 16, Mark. Mark kind of got turned around on that when the ball was on the inside. Mark was looking over his right shoulder, I believe, and uh, goes as an incompletion, but he had the defender beat out there. So it'll ring up fourth down for the Trojans, fourth and 12 or 13. So UD will be forced to punt the ball out of there. As soon as we can get Mark Mace back there to do the punting. He's ready. Number 16, Mark Mace. <clears throat> Trent Snyder, deep for the Indians. Moder will go in as a end position here to block for this punt. Here's the punt. Not a bad punt. Gets it off pretty quickly. Take it out here. Down on one knee he goes. They don't blow the whistle. Why wasn't he down when they did that to the Trojans earlier? But there was no call on that one. He did go down on a knee. However, he didn't get much of a return out of it anyway. He might have gone a minus two after the knee touched down, but the official never signaled that he was down. So, Joe Whitmer making a stop out there for UDA. The ball will be spotted at the 29-yard line. So it'll be first and 10, Juniata. 25, Colby Ladenschlager. For the Trojans out there <clears throat> on the defensive spot. And here we go on a first and uh, 10 from the 29. Quarterback still has it, and he got it out over the 30, maybe, to the 31. Looks like it was Dietrich along with uh, Stone hit on the stop that time. Gain of two, it'll be third down. Gain of two, Gain of two it'll be second, down. second and eight. <laughs> second and eight for the Indians. Back to pass, he goes. Fires one downfield this way. Man is out here. It is going to be incomplete. Motter defending for the Trojans. And a flag on the play. They're throwing a flag on the play, and uh, there was some jousting, jousting going on there now, so I'm not sure who they're going to call this on, but let's see. Pass interference called on the Trojans, and that's going to cost the Trojans 15 plus a first down, and that'll mark the ball up around the... Uh, well, we'll wait and see. Somewhere around the 48-yard line or something like that of UDA. 
Interference called against UD. Well, the ball is dragged up here to the 47-yard line now, or maybe 47 and a half, about midway between the 45 and the 50-yard line. For the Juniata Indians, it's first and 10. Quarterback hands this one off, coming over this way and into the arms of the awaiting, let's see who it is here, number 18, Robbie Motter, making the stop in there for UDA. Picked up a yard, it'll be second down and uh, nine. The ball is at the 49-yard line of Juniata. Second down and nine for the Indians. QB still has it, rolls over this way, looking downfield. He's gonna get hit and swarmed under as coming over there to put good pursuit on Colby Lodenschlager along with Brock Stone. Number 25, Nick Good Perry. defensive Maybe play by play. those two young by Trojans. And Brock it's a Stone. loss on the play back to the original line of scrimmage. It'll bring up a third down and 10. Loss on the play brings up. Third and 10. Quarterback still has it. Races around the far side, and he's right in the arms of number 36, Culva, with 51 uh, in hot pursuit over there, too. But Culva making a good stop that time as uh, he and uh, Mike Weldon combining on the stop. Culva making the initial big hit on it. And it'll bring up a fourth and about 15. And so the Indians will punt the ball away. And we'll see if we can get a good run back now. Joe Culver and Jimmy Enders, or Joe, Joe Culver, Joe Whitmer and Jimmy Enders back there. There's a ball coming over this way, heading towards Jimmy Enders. Ball comes loose. And it'll be, what? UDA ball, I guess they haven't ruled otherwise, but. Not sure what the discussion is. Here comes a call. There's interference on the, uh, or a, well, I'm not sure what that call is, whatever. Interference with the catch. That was it. Interference with the catch. They never gave Jimmy a chance to uh, grab that one. So it'll go against the Indians this time. Well, the Trojans declined the uh, interference on a catch penalty. And I'm not sure why they would do that. But uh, apparently they know. <laughs> That's why I'm up here and I don't coach. Anyhow, they declined the penalty. Go to work on the 29-yard line. Now there's still something amiss here. And they're going to see what the heck's going on here. I think there's some confusion over here because uh, the referee is over here talking to uh, Coach Freilich and uh, Coach Savage. Well, I'm not exactly sure what came of that, but I know the Trojans have the ball at the 29-yard line. Up the middle with it goes uh, Hoover. Hoover drags it all the way out here to around the 35-yard line. We'll see where he finally give him the forward progress. 67's in, uh, 67 in there, Sims for UDA. 59 Langans and so forth. Second down. I want to see them go to Todd Culver once tonight. A tight end. I always like that since Kyle Brady played tight end for the Penn State Nittany Lions. He used to go to Brady every now and then. He'd get yardage every time over the middle. So maybe we'll throw one of those in. <laughs> From the eye formation they go. Green hands this one off Hoover. Trying the uh, right side this time. And he won't get much out of that. And he gets bumped ahead a little bit. Maybe picks up. A yard or two involuntarily as he is smacked from behind and all over the place. Number 31, Chris Fultz. And uh, it'll bring up third down and about three. Trojans need to get themselves a first down here. Now get something moving. It's just that they look a little bit like sluggish out here at the moment. But uh, I think once we get her going here, we'll be all right. Tom Booth is the uh, fullback. Here's a good pitch out here to Robbie Motter for a big gainer out here to the 48-yard line of the Trojans. Nice pass from Green to uh, Robbie Motter. First and 10 UD. Now that might just set them on their way here. We'll see. Jimmy Enders will report into the ball game, bringing the signals in from the bench. 
And we'll see what we can do with this one now. On a first and 10 from the Trojan, 48. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Somebody jumped out there, so cost him. Five-yard penalty on UDA makes it a first and 15 now from back at the 43-yard line of the uh, Trojans. Green puts a man in motion. Sanders coming our way. Handoff is to uh, Hoover up the middle. Spins over the right side, dragging himself along, still dragging. It's all the way down here to the 48-yard line of the Tigers. Anthony Hoover, Anthony Hoover just does not quit. And that's a great asset to this young fella as he always can drag himself ahead for a couple of extra yards. And he did that time, picking up four, it'll be second down and six. Good job. If, had he been able to get loose there, who knows where Tony might have ended up. This time, Booth lines up on the near side of the field as Green looks like he might want to throw the ball. Nope, he'll put you back here to Enders. Enders going to try to turn left side, gets dragged down from behind. 31 coming up there, making a big stop for the uh, Indians. That's that Chris Fultz for Juniata, making a good stop on uh, Jimmy Enders that time. And so it'll be third down and 12. Third and 12. Third and 12 for UDA. Stephen Green, look at him over here. He's going to throw. Dumps one over the middle. It is incomplete. Well, it was intended for Culver, but wasn't very well played. Somehow or another, either uh, Todd wasn't where he was supposed to be, or certainly the pass wasn't near him. So, well, that's the play I wanted, and it didn't work. So we'll throw that one out. <laughs> no, just kidding. I like that pass. And if it had connected, it would have been a nice gain on the play. But didn't happen. So the Trojans are forced to punt as it looks like a defensive ball game uh, unfolding here before us in the early going. Still have two minutes and 22 seconds remaining in the first quarter. No score, of course. It is base. Back to punt this football. He gets a pretty good snap and a punt goes out there pretty nicely. And they're going to be a flag for a roughing the kicker back here, I think on Juniata, so regardless of where this young fella ends up, which he ends up down here being hit by Stone, or rather by uh, the punter who was molested on the play. <laughs> it's gonna be a roughing the kicker call against the Tro against the Juniata, and that will probably or possibly give the Trojans a first time. I think it might be automatic. We'll see. We'll see. Well, that penalty is a 15-yard penalty and an automatic first down for UDA. So you could see it pretty uh, much there, like uh, briefly anyway. And uh, two minutes and nine seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Juniata will take a timeout. Timeout on the field called by Juniata. So watch for highlights of all the big games on first 209 remaining Friday here in the first quarter. And a on score News. is this. Scoreless tie. Okay, we're set to go now. First and 10 following Juniata's first time out of the first half here. And Green will hand this one off to Hoover. Hoover up the middle with it. Hoover with some good running room. Bursts ahead for maybe six or seven yards. We'll see where they put it. And off to number 34. He is inside the 40 to the 38. Number 26, Shane Archie and 31, Chris both on the tackle. Or rather make it the 33 yard line. It'll be second down and uh, a long six. Motter and Mace flank out on the far side of the field on this second down play for UD. Green hands it off, and this time Tony is going to get hit almost immediately. Tony Hoover brought down in the backfield for a loss on the play of about two. It'll be third and six. And 76, Justin Wolf on the tackle. Okay, third down play now coming up here. These Trojans finding these Tiger or these Indians pretty tough. Fires one down the middle and is incomplete. Intended for Jimmy Enders, but a good defensive play out there by number 33. 
Came up with a big defensive play that time Moving on Jimmy field, Enders. Trent Snyder. Trent Snyder making the defensive may, uh, play Third for Juniata. Brings up fourth. So the Trojans again looking at a fourth down play. Have not been able to pick up those first downs too handily at all. Here in the first quarter of this ball game, 51 seconds remaining. The clock stopped with the incompletion. So Mark Mace again called upon to punt this ball away. Now we should be able to get these guys in pretty terrible field position if we can get out there and cover, get coverage on this punt, providing he doesn't punt it in the end zone, of course. Hold everything. Penalties on the play. Five yard penalty on the. Uh, Illegal procedure called on UD, so Mark will have a better opportunity now to keep this ball in play down there and hopefully play it deep. Get some good coverage on this one. Here it comes. Goes down the side over here and it takes a roll nicely for UDA down to the seven or eight yard line. So a nice punt that time. No return at all. And that's exactly what we wanted to do. Booth making the touch up for the uh, Trojans. Takes over so it's first and 10, ten now for Juniata on the seven or eight yard line, something like that. First and 10 with 40 seconds remaining here in the first quarter of the ball game. So let's see if we can get them back there now. Weldon digging in. Handoff coming up that way and right into the arms of uh, several of those big Trojan defensive linemen out there. Mike Weldon, I think, getting the big initial hit on him as he came right over Mike's way and made a good stop. Second down, lost about a yard. We'll call it second and 11. Down to the seven yard line he is now. This time it's going to be 31, trying to spin around the right side. Kova had a shot at him, and then he gets dragged down and out of bounds. Or did he get out of bounds? I'm Number 31, sure. Chris Fultz on the carry. Fultz on the carry. And uh, Jimmy Enders, they give credit for this tackle here. And that ended the first quarter. So the Trojans and the Juniata Indians all tangled up here at nothing, nothing at the end of one. Back with the second quarter here in just one second. Okay, now Juniata heading east here at the ballpark, or southeast that is. At any rate, uh, opening play of the second quarter. They're on their own seven yard line. They got a third down and nine. So Trojan need to hold them here. We're gonna get the ball back in excellent field position. Oh, it looked like a little motion that time, but nothing doing. 12 has it and going nowhere with it is uh, Trapper Flaky. So that'll do it as the uh, Tigers, or the uh, Indians rather, they have Juniata, East Juniata up here. I get tangled up. Anyway, the Indians will punt the ball out of there now, and the Trojans only backing up to their own 45-yard line. So, by gosh, if we get some good punt coverage here, we might uh, get a good run back. It looks like uh, Enders and uh, Whitmer back to receive this kick. Good snap, not much of a rush. Trojans playing for a, and not much of a kick either. Actually, it gets really short here. And let's see, it's going to come out and be allowed to roll dead at the 34 yard line. So, uh, boy, I'll tell you, the Trojans now getting ever such better field position. Ball will be spotted just inside the 35. It is first and 10, UDA. So now, Trojans need to go to work and get something going here. Green will send uh, Motter out on the far side, Enders on the near side. On a first and 10. Handoff, Hoover. Hoover trying to follow some blocking, drags it ahead for a couple of yards, maybe a yard, yard and a half. Sims out there trying to help him. Anthony picks up nearly two. It'll be second down and a long eight. Second down. This time it's going to be Green throwing right over the middle. He goes with a quick hitter here for Mace. And Mace dives down to around the 12 or 15 yard line. We'll see where it is. Good pass from Stephen Green. And a great catch by Mark Mace out there for UDA. Mark will check himself out of the ball game here now. And another fine pass by that Stephen Green. Excellent pass, hitting right on the numbers on the fly. 
First and 10, the ball will be at the 5, 10, 15, about the 16 yard line. First and 10, UDA. Culver lines up at the tight end spot on the left side of the field. Handoff is to Hoover. Hoover going to try to find something up the middle. Gets it down to near the 15 yard line. Not much on that one, maybe a yard. Not much at all. Second down and nine. Second and nine for the Trojans. They split the backs this time. The set enters in motion. Back to pass he goes. Dumps a little screen right over here for uh, uh, yeah. Tom Booth. Sorry, Booth. Uh, sorry, Tom, we couldn't think of your name. Tommy Booth with the catch, picking up about two yards on a play to be third and seven. So not too much on that one. They went to the fullback that time who was lined up as a split back. And uh, Tom will check out of the ball game now for UDA. On this third down, they send uh, Mace to the far side of the field for Juniata, or for the Trojans. Juniata had a guard him out there. Here's he's looking. He's looking for Mace down on the sidelines. The pass is up in the air. It is incomplete. Incomplete, and that'll bring up a fourth down. So the Trojans and the Juniata Indians struggling here on the offense. And Blanky knocking that one down for the Indians. Trojans looking at a fourth down now. And they'll go for this, of course, uh, being down here on the 14-yard line, I guess it is. Looks like it. So here's a big play for the UDA Trojans now. Back to pass goes Green. Green fires one over there. It's incomplete. Incomplete. Knocked down by number 12 of Juniata. Intended for Mace out there. Fired nicely in there, but uh, the uh, trapper Flanky got a hand in there for Juniata. Knocked it down. And so the Trojans and the uh, Juniata Indians still having uh, difficulty. Getting anything on the board. 8.24 remaining here in the first half of the ball game. And Juniata with a first and 10. Nick Sperry is the QB for Juniata. He'll hand this one off. Over the left side he goes with it. And he's got maybe a yard or so. And off to number 33, Trent Snyder. So he picks up two. We second down and eight. Second down for Juniata and hold everything. Now we got a flag thrown already. They haven't even approached the ball yet. Somebody's obviously lined up off sides or something. Let's see what they call it here. It's going to be against Juniata the way the Indians are moving back here. Offside, Juniata. So it'll be uh, second down and 13. Five yard penalty remains. Or second and 12, actually. And now we're ready to go from the 10-yard uh, line. Somewhere around the 10-yard line they are. QB still has it. He's rolling. He's looking. Fires one down the right side. It's incomplete. Covering on the play for UDA is uh, Robbie Motter. But it goes an incompletion. We'll bring up a third down and 12 for Juniata. Third down, Juniata. Pitch back over here for that 33 guy. He's going to try to turn it over on this side. He gets knocked down by several Trojans. Enders included among them, along with Kulva. Also uh, Hoover and Motter all in there around the football that time. Number 36, Todd Kulva on the tackle. Gain of a, about uh, almost nothing on the play. They'll be fourth down and seven. I guess he picked up a yard that time. And the Trojans again with an opportunity to get excellent field position out of this. We'll watch the punt so that we don't get a darn uh, roughing the kicker called on us here. So let's see what happens. Low snap, but he'll handle it. Not big rush. Play it for a run back. Ball's coming down over there on this side, and it's going to go out of bounds with no run back out here at the 42-yard line. So Trojans in... Uh, Indian Territory at the 42-yard line of Juniata. So it'll be first and 10, UDA. 
Trojans need to do something this series. Now, 6.44 remaining in the half. Scoreless ball game. On the 42-yard line, Green looking to throw. Fakes once, pumps, fires one down the side, man. It's out there. It is incomplete. Incomplete and no flag on that play. Coaching staff wants to know where the flag was on that play. Look at Tim. Good heavens. It looked to me like he tackled Robbie before the ball got there, but it's a decision the, uh, the uh, ref back there has to make, and he said it was okay. Second down and 10. Okay, second and 10. Big rush this time, but Ma but Hoover has the football. Hoover dragging himself. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this dragging ahead. Four or five yards afterwards. Oh, then we got a flag call on somebody out there. It says first down over there, so I guess it's first and 10 for UDA following that penalty. Here's a handoff coming down the middle with it goes uh, Hoover again, I guess it is. Let's see. Or was that? No, that was Tony uh, Thomas Booth that time. And Tom with a pretty good gate on the play, picking up eight. It'll be second down and two. Second and two for UD. Brings up second down for the Ball third. is at the 40, uh, or rather the 37-yard line, I guess. Uh, here's uh, Hoover ducking the head and trying to get inside there, but nothing doing. Anthony Maybe a yard on the play, and that's about all for Tony that time. Back be third and one. Show you why it's difficult to tell you what the yard, uh, what the line markers are here. First of all, there's none on this side of the field. There are no indications on this side of the field at all. The ones on the other side of the field are at times blocked by either, like here, for example, the guys holding the sticks or sometimes players or coaches. Well, it's not easy up here tonight. Normally it is, but tonight's not a good night. Too much rain, couldn't line the field off the way they wanted to. Here's Hoover again getting a call, and this time he's going to go nowhere as he's blocked up immediately a couple of two or three red-shirted uh, Indians all on top of him there immediately. So that'll bring up a fourth down, and once again, the Trojans are stymied without arriving at a good first down here. It'll be fourth and two, and UD will punt the ball away once again as uh, Mace goes back into punt formation for the Trojans. They send one man back to the uh, Indians. See what kind of a snap we get here and hold everything. Now, who's that on? Uh, on us, apparently. Seems like they all are up here. Dead illegal procedure against UD. Well, that's, again, that's okay, because we're going to have to punt the ball away anyway, unless, of course, the penalty was on them. Now they'll be punting from about midfield, which should give us an opportunity to get down there and uh, get the would-be punt receiver back deep. Good snap and a kick high. And it's going to be very definitely playable by somebody. Well, this time it takes a lateral roll out of bounds over there and is going to be stopped at about the... 20 yard line or somewhere near the 20 yard line over there. So that'll give the Indians the ball first and 10 on their own 20 yard line. Robbie Motter making the touchdown of the football to kill it right there at the 29 yard line. So it'll be first and 10 with 404 remaining here in the first half of the ball game. Again, Sperry the QB, look at him over here for the Indians. Motion goes 12. Quarterback wants to throw. He's looking, dumps one over the middle. It is incomplete. Apparently intended for 33 here, but goes as an incompletion. Bring up a second down and 10. Second and 10 for Juniata. Exactly four minutes left here in the first half. 
Again, Sperry wants to throw. Dumps a little screen over this way. It is complete to this number 31. He's trying to pick up a couple of blockers here. And he'll be dragged out of bounds. Stop made in here by number 18, Robbie Motter. A little bit of extracurricular fussing going on after the play here now. So both of these teams, I think, probably getting a little bit frustrated, uh, especially the Trojans who are uh, unable to do much about uh, getting themselves a first down when it becomes critically important to them, and they're not used to that. We haven't played that way the last couple of ball games, but these guys are playing tough, no doubt about it. And uh, so it's a first down for Juniata. QB to throw. Dumps one over this way. And he'll be pushed out of bounds. A couple of Trojans over here making the stop, including Langans and uh, Tom Booth also in on that play for UD. Gain of four on the play. It'll be second down and six. 327 left in the first half of this ballgame. QB will throw it again. Fires one downfield. Man is out here. It's complete. What a fine catch made out here by that number 12. A good diving catch. And that'll excite this Juniata crowd over here. And all of a sudden, the Juniata Indians seem to have their offense uh, getting in gear. That was that Flanky kid. His first name is Trapper. Trapper Flanky. And it's on the 43-yard line of UDA now with 3.15 remaining here in the first quarter. So the QB, Sperry, has decided to come out and go to the air. And he gets himself a big first down. Uh, 33, a reset. QB wants to throw it again. Gets a big rush this time, but dumps one off. As an incompletion. There was a man in the area, so they can't say he grounded it, but three Trojans coming in there in a hurry on him that time. And uh, that's what the Trojans are going to have to do is get in his face. And they did a good job that time. It'll be second down and 10. Second and 10 for the Indians. Same formation. And perhaps the same attempt. Another little screen popped up over this way. Incomplete. Defensively over here in Langhans taking a swipe at that football on the defensive end of things. Ryan, number 59 out there. Third down and 10 coming up for Juniata with 252 remaining here in the first half. So if the Trojans can hold them here, presumably we can get that football back and have about uh, two minutes or so to work with remaining in the first half. Here's a big play right here, third down and 10. Sperry hands it off, cutting it up the middle here goes number 33. So he stopped in there by Langans again. Ryan with another good stop in there for UDA. Gain of four on a play, it'll be fourth down and six. So uh, presumably a punting situation for Juniata, we'll see. There's two minutes and 25 seconds, and the clock is continuing to count on down here now. No, they'll go for it. They'll go for it on a fourth down and six. They're going to see if they can't pick up the first down and hang on to that football for the half anyway. There, Harold, everything. We've got flags all over the field. Whitmer and Green go back to receive this putt now as a five-yard penalty against the Indians puts them out of any chance of a first down. So here's the punt. It's uh, dandy spiraling down this way toward uh, Whitmer. And Whitmer driven out of bounds to stop the clock for one thing, but he got the ball to the 5, 10, 15, about 16, 17 yard line, something like that, where the Trojans will put it in play first and 10 now with a bit at 55 remaining in the first half of the ball game. Weldon is the center for UDA tonight. Green to QB. Green pitches it back over here. Ball is on the ground and picked up by Juniata. So a miscue by the Trojans has cost them the football. 
in very deep in UDA possession in territory rather at the 14 yard line of the Trojans. So with a minute 51, uh, Juniat in the driver's seat momentarily now on the turnover by the Trojans. Pitch back over there for Hoover and just was slippery and uh, slippery and slipped out of his hands and it'll be first and 10 Juniata now with an excellent opportunity for the Indians pitch back over here for that 33 guy he tries to turn it up field he is hit by a couple of Trojans knocked out of bounds somewhere around the 10 Langens and Motter and uh, Booth and I'm not sure who the other guy was uh, over here. Number 18, Robert Motter. Robert Motter, they're going to say. Bumpty Motter there. The I'm in booth. Anyway, it's uh, gain of two. It'll be second down, second and, eight. down and eight. He went out of bounds to stop the clock with 143 left in the half. <clears throat> so Sperry will look him over. He wants to throw it over the middle, and it's no, it's intercepted by UDA. I think it looked like Colby Lodgeslager picked that one off. Yes, he did. Colby Lodgeslager with a good pick for UDA. Ball kind of uh, very weakly thrown out there, whether it was uh, the fall of the ball being slippery or whatever, I'm not sure, but Colby Lodgeslager picking it off, and that was a big interception for UDA and for Colby Lodgeslager because the ball is not the seven-yard line of the Trojans, and they will have a minute and 39 to try to get it out of there if they can. Oh, so we'll see. 67 Sims for UD. Handoff. Up with it comes Hoover. Hoover spins over the right or left side over there. Gets a couple of yards. Anthony Hoover, the ball carrier. About a yard, well, maybe one yard. Number On the play, be second down nine. Second down and nine for UD. Handoff, this time it's Hoover trying this side over here, and he'll bounce it out to around the uh, 13, 14 yard line. Number 34, Anthony Hoover, the ball carrier. Picking up about five on the play Chris it'll be third down and Indian. four third and four for uda 45 Eight seconds remaining and timeout called by juniata juniata timeout is over trojans looking at a third down play here now and over again is to Hoover. Hoover swings to the left side, gets himself some running room, breaks it out, breaks it upfield, and going to go out of bounds, bounced heavily out of it. There's a flag thrown on that play. Bounced him heavily out of bounds over there, and they throw a flag on that one. So the uh, gain will include a 15-yard personal foul, one would think. Really bounced him out of there. Personal foul against Juniata. With 35 seconds remaining, that'll get the ball all the way up here to around the midfield area. Maybe the 48-yard line, we'll see. Fog coming in here now, here at the ballpark for sure. And we could end up with a very amazing ball game and a weird drive home because it is really starting to set in here. It's a cool but humid night with all the rain and all the moisture around. So the ball spotted right at the 50 or near the 50 yard line where the Trojans will go to work now on a first and 10, 35 seconds remaining in the first half of play. Love to see the Trojans spring somebody here. It's gonna be uh, Motter on the near side of the field as the flanker for UD on this first and 10 play from the 49 yard line of UDA. Back to pass goes Green. He's looking for Motter over the middle. It is complete. Motter's got it to uh, Robbie to the 35-yard line. A timeout called to stop the clock while they move the sticks for sure. And the Trojans with a couple of timeouts remaining here now. The referee will get it all set up here now, and she's going to call timeout. It'll be UDA calling timeout, and the Trojans will have a first and 10 on the Juniata 35-yard line. Go, UD. Okay, the Trojan timeout is over. 30, 27 seconds remaining. From the shotgun goes green on this first and 10 play from the 35 yard line of Juniata. Good snap, got a lot of time. Fires one, far down the field. Man is out there. It is gonna be incomplete. Intended for Mark Mace, I do believe. Looks like Mark out there. Yes, it is. 
Goes as an incompletion and will bring up a second down and 10 with 20 seconds remaining in the first half. Incompletion brings up second down. Trojans just need another step. Well thrown pass, it was there, but so was uh, Flanky to uh, knock it down. Second and 10 coming up. 20 seconds remaining again. They'll go in a passing situation here as he comes from the shotgun formation. In motion goes Mace this time over to the far side of the field. Snap comes down away. Got several receivers over there. Passes one down the field. It is going to be incomplete. Incomplete and bounced hard to the ground that time is Jimmy Enders. Going to bring up a third down with 13 seconds remaining. These guys are playing good pass defense against the Trojans for sure. A good strong pass again out there. Jimmy was out there. The ball was out there, but so were uh, one or two uh, Indian defenders. So it'll be a third down and 10 from the 35 yard line. One of these is going to connect folks and uh, we hope it's ours and let's see. Here we go on a third and 10, 13 seconds remaining. Motion will come over this way, and Hoover will turn it upfield, but a little early. Wow, and uh, Green's going to be sacked back here, but boy, Trojans, I think, got away with one there as it looked like uh, Tony Hoover turned it upfield about a step or two too early. And that's going to do it as the time has expired to end the first quarter. Now, wait a minute. Well, they're talking this over here. Now they want to have a little bit of time. Hold everything. Hold everything. It's not over. Uh -uh. No, it's not over. It couldn't have ended that quickly. They still have time. There might be only a second or two. They're going to call them all back. We've got a play remaining here, folks. The Juniata squad has uh, left the field because the, uh, the clock says zero, but they had called timeout, and the linesman over there very alertly realized that there was... Uh, Two seconds remaining, which is enough for the Trojans to run one play, and then timeout's going to be called now by UDA. So hang around. We've got two seconds, and uh, we'll see what we can do in two seconds. It's going to be fourth down and uh, a ton, so we'll just send everybody out for a pass and hope for the best. Indians obviously set up a pass defense here now as they've got three men rushing. And then uh, everybody else back defending on the pass. So he's got plenty of time. Fires one down the middle. It is complete, but it's going to expire the time. And that's going to do it. Pass complete to Jimmy Enders. But that ends the first half of play. So at the end of one half of this ball game, it's all tied up at nothing. <laughs> back with the second half in just a moment. Well, as you can see, the teams are back now, and the Trojans will receive the kickoff to begin the second half of play here. And we'll see if they have gotten some offensive instructions that's going to allow them to get on the board here tonight. First team to score wins this ball game. I'm convinced of that. 55 out there, Shadle on the kickoff team. Weldon, uh, Sims, and uh, 78 there is uh, that young... Uh, Check him out here just for a second. That's at Evan Roberts. Kicking off for the Indians. So uh, we'll be set to go here. And Deep for the Trojans, first kickoff of the evening for the Indians, as uh, of course they didn't have to kick off at all tonight yet. So we'll see if we can get something and get a good run back here and get something going here early in the second half. The haze and fog fogs up the camera uh, lens here. So that could be a little problem if it looks a little foggy to you sometimes. Here's the kick, a real terrible kick. It goes over the far side and out of bounds it goes at about the 30 yard line. So perhaps the Trojans will take it in play right there. I would think they might, but uh, I've been wrong so often that my record for being wrong is intact. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Now they're going to re-kick it. They figure we can get a better position than that, so we'll see now. That time will tell. We had it on the 31-yard line, and now we're going to see 
Now we make out here with a re-kick. Run one back, I'll agree it was a good call. <laughs> he <put> it. <laughs> huh? That one didn't work. He put it down when he kicked <laughs> oh. <laughs> They'll place the ball at the 35-yard line, uh, where it will be first and 10 for, uh, rather, rather will be kicked off, rather, by the uh, Indians here. Here it goes. This is much better. Goes back down here and taken by UD. This is uh, Whitmer Whitmer spinning ahead to the 30 yard line, I believe it is. You can notice the footing out there, not real good as Joe had a little bit of trouble out there. That is, got, it's got to be a very, very slippery part of the field here. It is uh, not standing water mud, but uh, kind of like playing on slippery clay or whatever. So it's not gonna be easier as the evening goes on and the humidity continues to uh, bring the fog and uh, not exactly a mist, it's just uh, kind of a yucky night. Okay, here we go on a first and 10 for UDA. Green hands this one off and there again, sliding and slipping in the backfield is Tony Motter. No footing out there and hurt or Anthony Hoover rather and uh, be a loss of uh, five on the play. He's second down and 15. Second down, 15 for UDA. Pitches back over there. Hoover's going to try the left side this time, and he's going to be dragging it ahead for a couple of good yards. Picking up maybe three. It'll be third and third, uh, third and 12. Looking at UD now. Third and 12. Third and 12 for the Trojans. Back to pass he goes. Green looking. Fires one down the right side. It's complete over here for Mace. Mace uh, all the way down here to the 40-yard line or 43-yard line, whatever, something like that. A great pass and another great catch by that Mark Mace. Getting the Trojans out of trouble on a third and eight. And picking it up nicely here, Green again with a good throw, and Mark Mace with a fine catch out there. The ball will be marked at the 43-yard line of Juniata, and that's where the Trojans will put it in play. There was a big, big play, folks, right there. Big play. Enders on the near side, Mace on the far side of the field for the Trojans, who, if they can get some footing to drop back and throw, here goes uh, uh, Hoover with it. Hoover drags it ahead for some good yardage. Inside the 40-yard line to the 38, I guess it is. Nice run picking up six on the play. It'll be second down and four. Ball is at the Indian 38-yard line now. Second down, four. This is going to be Hoover again. Hoover over the left side. Good, good running room. Look out. Hoover down to the 15-yard line. And a good run that time by Tony Hoover. Takes the ball, actually they'll spot it at the 16 yard line. So the Trojans making their move here now in the early going of the third quarter. Volts finally making the stop out there for Juniata, but another big gator for that uh, Tony Anthony Hoover. Sets so a 16 of Juniata. Let's see if we can't get in here. Hoover lines up behind Booth. Hoover has the call again, drives it across the 16 or 15 to the, well, let's see where they spot it. They'll spot it on the 15 yard line. It'll be a gain of a yard on the play. It'll be second down and nine. Modern Enders on the far side of the field. This time they flank out Culva as a split end on the near side of the field for UDA. Back to pass, he's looking. Dumps one over the middle, it is incomplete. Throw a little bit too high over there for Robbie Motter. Robbie, not, not too close for that one. Steven that time just kind of lobbed that one a little bit uh, too far and too high and falls with an incompletion. So it'll be third and nine for UDA. This is where the going always gets tough for any ball club. And the Trojans finding that out now as Culver will check out of the ball game for UD. Third down, nine. Mace flanking on the far side of the field. Enders and uh, Motter on the near side for UDA. 
On a third and nine. Mace has a pass over there, but he threw it a little bit behind Mark Mace. Mark was there. But that time, the pass from Green just a little bit behind uh, Mark Mason. So that'll bring up a fourth down and nine. And the Trojans could try that again. A little more accurate pass that time. Would have had Mace in the clear and the first down. So the ball remains at the 15-yard line on a fourth down and nine for UDA. So they either make it or they give it up here. So we'll see. Again, it's Mace flanking out on the far side of the field. And again, Enders and Motter on the near side. With Booth and Hoover in the backfield. Back to pass he goes. Look, he fires one not this way. This is going to be complete this time for a touchdown, UDA. 15-yard touchdown toss to Mark Mace. Mark was open several times here in the ball game. And that time, Green hit him right on the, right between the one and the six. What a jersey for six. Good catch and an excellent throw once again there by uh, Stephen Green. So the Trojans on the board here now. We'll give you the time and whatever here in just a moment as they go for the extra point try. The extra point try will be made by James Enders. He will be kicking out of the hold of Stephen Green and hold everything now. There is something amiss on the lineup here. We'll see what it is. The legal procedure against the Trojans since the, uh, sends the Trojans back five, and he'll be now kicking from the 15-yard line where the ball will be spotted. So it'll be a 25-yard uh, extra point try, you might say. Good snap and hold everything once again. We've got another problem with the lineup. We'll see what this one is. The legal procedure against the Trojans. Well, this will soon be a more, more than more like a field goal coming up here. Now the Trojans will send in a couple of other ball players, and uh, we'll see what what transpires here. Something going amiss in there. Now the Trojans will have to go for two, since the extra point try would come now from about the 30 or 25 yard line, be a 35 yard, like a field goal attempt. So. They're going to try to go for two. Let's see if we can get two out of this now. Culver lines up at the tight end spot. Otherwise, three flankers on the near side of the field for UDA. Back to pass he goes. We're looking. He's throwing. It is incomplete. Intended for Jimmy Enders out here. But it goes as an incompletion, and there is a flag on the play. We'll see what it is. Here's the penalty. Could be against UD the way the no personal foul against Upper Dolphin. Well, that'll be tagged on to the kickoff. And so with 817 remaining here in the third period, it is six nothing Trojans. Well, the personal foul penalty takes the ball all the way back to the Trojan 25-yard line where uh, it'll be up to Mark Mace to see if he can get himself a real good kick out of here. Now, Mark can. He's capable of kicking the ball pretty darn far. So let's see if we can get it. Now, the Trojan's up 6 nothing. You don't want to give this away in anything stupid. So let's see if we can get a good kick out here. Yeah, he got a decent kick off out here to about the 25-yard line. Up the middle, he comes with it, and he is going to be knocked down right out here at the 49-yard line of the Indians, where they will put it in play first and 10. So the Indians end up with excellent field position to start their series here now, first and 10 from their own 49. Sperry pitches it back here. He's going to throw one. Fires one down the middle. It is incomplete. Overthrowing on the halfback pass, number 80 out here, just overthrew him a little bit. And he was open. Second and 10. The Trojans dodge a bullet right there. Wow. All right, second and 10 now for Juniata. Whoop, 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 whoop. Make that second and 15 on the uh, illegal procedure penalty. I believe it's been six years since the Trojans have defeated these Juniata Indians. 
Sperry wants to throw. Fires one down the middle. It is complete and dragged down nicely out there to save six for UDA is, uh, let's see, who was that? Number 31. That's at uh, Booth, Tom Booth, with the stop. Uh, save the bacon for the Trojans, at least momentarily there. It's uh, at the 34-yard line of Upper Dolphin. So a uh, big plays over the middle on the passing now. Trojans got to tighten that up a little bit if they can, as the Indians have been successful a couple of times that route. Well, let's see what we do on this one. Now it's first and 10 Indians. And that extra point looms bigger and bigger in this ball game. The extra point we didn't get. Here's a young fellow trying to make his way over this side. He is going to dive down at the 25 yard line. Stopped in there by Booth again, I believe. Ian Enders over in the area. Taken down by number two, James Enders. Jimmy Enders credited with the stop. The ball is at the, well, let's see. Are they going to measure this or what? Ref's not really sure from here. He's looking it over as closely as he can, and he's going to say, uh, nope, they're going to bring in the sticks. Well, the measurements show that the Indians had indeed made the first down. They're at the 23-yard line of Upper Dolphin. It's first and 10, Juniata. Sperry sends a man in motion. Handoff is to the fullback, and he uh, gets maybe one yard, not much more out of that. He ran into a pile of Trojans out there. Right in the center of that would be uh, Langans, Ryan Langans, and also Dietrich. But there is a flag laying back here. Way in the backfield. I don't know what the heck occurred back there. But illegal motion against the Indians, okay, is called against the Indians. That will help tremendously here. As there was uh, not much gain on the play, maybe uh, two yards. So uh, let's see. The illegal motion is the call. The penalty takes the ball back to the 29 yard line. Yeah, back to the 29 yard line where it'll be first and 15. Actually, first and about 16. Here's a handoff to that 33 guy again. He gets some running room back to the 25 yard line, picking up four. Number 33, Trent Snyder on the Trent carry. Snyder driving it ahead for about uh, almost six yards. Number 18, Robert Motter, and number 34, Anthony Hoover on the top. And it'll be second down and 12, second down and 11. Second and 11 line. picked up four second or five. Down. Well, they're resting right on the 25 yard line of the Trojans. Trojans in a big, big defensive series here now against these Juniata Indians. Barry has it. He's going to tuck it. He's going to try to get away with it and can't. Coming up to meet him very nicely over here for the Trojans. Number 21, uh, Joe Whitmer making the stop for UDA. Number 25, Nick Sperry. Good it down uh, job that time. And... Uh, Loss on the play all the way back to the 32 yard line or 31 yard line. Third down, for the third down and about uh, 18. Third and 18 now for Juniata. Motion goes 12. Back to Pasco Sperry. He's got to look. He's going to dump one over that way. It is complete, but tackled immediately out there by the Trojans, Langans again, and on the bottom of the pile getting up is uh, Dietrich. Adam Dietrich, another good stop along with Ryan Langans for UDA. Loss on the play of another yard or two. It'll be fourth down and about 20. And uh, let's see, will the Indians will kick the ball here, apparently, I guess. I don't know what they're gonna do, let's see. Yeah, they're gonna go back in punt formation. And we'll see if they get a good snap off and nobody roughs the kicker and all that kind of good stuff. Trojan said one man back here to receive this kick and here it comes, no rush. He fires one over here towards the end line and it's gonna be, well, let's see, where is it? Down here about the three yard line. They'll ruin it, er, ru they'll uh, rule it went out about at the three. A good kick and no return. So the Trojans backed up all the way to their own three-yard line. On the three -yard line. So it'll be first and 10, UDA. All right, let's see if we can drive one out of here now as we're looking at a first and 10 from our own three. 
Green hands it off. Hoover over the left side. Bumps ahead and drags it out over the 10. Good run that time by Tony Hoover, picking up about five or six yards. Looks like he has it out to the 12 yard line. Picking up seven on the play. It'll be second down and three. Nice drive that time by Tony. Hanging on to that football. That's going to be the critical factor here. Hold on to that football. 4-12 remaining here in the third quarter. Trojans up 6-0. Whoops. There, oh, gee whiz. What did I say about hanging on to the football? <laughs> well, recovered by Green, who dropped the uh, football on the snap. Now Green coming up. What's he doing with his legs? Joel just wiping his hands off. Okay. We can see that Stevens not limping or anything. We don't want that. So it'll be third down and seven. Third and seven. Green drops back to throw. Fires one over the far side is incomplete. Intended for Robbie Motter. But again, some good defensive work out there by the Juniata Indians. Knocks that one away. And so the Trojans will be forced to punt the ball out of there as it brings up a fourth down. And uh, it'll be again um, Mark Mace stepping back near his own end zone. Standing at about the goal line. The punt this one out here. Got to get a good punt off. Whoa, high snap, but he'll, he'll get it out of here. Yeah, he does. Got it out of here on the run. It's a nice punt. It's going to come out this way, and the Trojans will down it at the 49-yard line of UDA. So, a good punt. No run back. And uh, he did a heck of a job that time as he was getting a big rush on the kind of high snap. And they'll bring it out to the 49 yard line where they'll give it to Juniata first and 10. First and 10 Indians on the Trojan 49. Here quarterback kept it and he has tackled on a nice tackle out there made by that uh, number 54. Dietrich, they're going to go Adam. They get a good stop. Gate of four and three on the play. Well, Gate just about four. Second down. The ball is at the 46 yard line. Okay, picked up three on the play. Second down, seven. Second and seven. Sperry pitching it back here for that 33 guy, and he is going to be stopped on some good tackling out here by UDA. Coming up to hit him that time, it looks like it's uh, number 34 Hoover. Helped out in there by uh, Anthony Hoover on the tackle. Let's see who else was it in there. I'm not sure if it was Stone or Booth out there. At any rate, gain of a yard on the play. It's third down and a long six. Actually, no gain on that play. Let's mark it back at the 46-yard line of UDA. So no gain on the play. Third down, seven. Minute 55 left here in the third quarter. Big play here for UDA's defense. Quarterback is going to throw it. He's looking. Fires one over the middle. It is complete to number 12. It was hit then by both Mace and uh, Whitmer. But a good pass to number 12 that... Uh, Trapper Flanky making the reception out there from Barry, the quarterback. And the ball is down at the 28-yard line of UDA. First and 10 Indians. Sperry hands this one off. 33 with it. He's going to be dragged down as it looks as though uh, Dietrich might have been the one grabbing a hold of him again there. Number 33, Trent Snyder. Yep, Adam Dietrich with a grab again to nail him. And there is a penalty flag on the play. And it's going to be against UDA. Face mask, face mask against, against the, Trojans. the Trojans. Boy, the Trojans have done everything they can now. To, probably a five-yard inadvertent. We'll see. Yeah, it five is. Penalty. So that's uh, one of those that, uh, you know, you just make a grab. And sometimes it's, it's just something that happens. So the ball, though, however, goes down to the 23-yard line of UDA. First down and four. Boy, oh boy, we got to stop him here again. 
Pitches back here to 12. He's going to try to turn the right side. He's going to get nailed over there as they strung him out nicely that time, did the Trojans. Finally, Motter and uh, Dietrich coming up to make the stop on him. Flanky again, the runner that time, and he is hit. After a gain of about two, it'll be second down and two. The penalty giving them the extra yardage there. So it'll be second down and two. The ball at the 20 yard line of UDA. Just about the 20, make it the 21, I guess. Near the 20 anyway. Second and two, pitches over there, that 33 guy. Well, he fell ahead. It's gonna be very close. Stop made in there by Ryan Langens. But it's gonna be close enough to uh, call it a third down in the yard. Gained one, third and one. This play ended the third quarter. It's six nothing UDA with uh, 12 minutes to hang on here now. And Juniata mounting a threat here. So let's dig in fellas. It's uh, six nothing Trojans. One period to play. Ball is at the Trojan 18 yard line, third down and one. We'll stay in here pretty tight, see what happens on this play. Third and one. Sperry, handed off to that 12 guy. He's got the first down. So he dives to the 17 yard line. And that'll be first and 10 for the Indians. First down for the Indians. And it'll be at the Trojan. 17 and a half, whatever yard line. Right there it is, laying there. They start the clock, 11.45 and so forth. Plenty of time remaining right now. The Trojans need a big defensive play or we need the uh, Indians to mess up again as they have so many times when they've gotten close and get some dumb penalties. Well, let's see what happens here on a first and 10. Best penetration of the night, I believe, now for the Juniata Indians. Pitches back over this way for that 30-something guy. He's turned the right side, 15, and tackled nicely out there as uh, he is leveled by uh, Mace. And then finished off by another Trojan. But Anthony Hoover, they say, made the tackle, but Mace knocked him down first. Anthony hit him while he was second in the down. air, I believe. <laughs> anyway, picked up five in his second down. Now the ball at the Trojan 12-yard line. So things getting more and more desperate here as the Indians can con continue to threaten. Hand off over here to that 21 guy. He has grabbed almost immediately and swung around there as uh, Hoover and uh, Number 12, Blanky on the carry. Hoover along with Brock Stone on that uh, last tackle. No gain on the play. Third down and five. Can the Trojans hold him here? It would be terrific if we could. Third and five. Sperry looking to throw. Now he's going to be grabbed by Langhans on a big tackle by Ryan Langhans. Coming in there and making one huge stop for the Trojans. Way to go, Ryan Langhans. Big stop. Fourth down coming up, loss of a yard to play. Fourth down and six from the 13-yard line. Wow. One more big defensive play required here for UDA. Fourth down and six. Wow. That was a huge play there by that Ryan Langens. Well, they line up in the eye. Backs are split, some of the backs in the backfield. Here goes Sperry. Sperry's getting a big rush, still getting a big rush. Fires one downfield, is incomplete. Good pressure put on him over here by Culva. Putting the large pressure on Sperry that time for UDA, and the ball turns over to the Trojans. So the Trojans have held down here on their own 13-yard line, and that's where the Trojans will take over. Now first and 10. Way to go, fellas. Nine minutes, 19 seconds remaining here in the ballgame. Six nothing. The so UDA wants to really get upfield here and get on the board again. Whether that lead is going to hold up is anybody's guess at this point. We certainly hope so, but a little insurance wouldn't hurt. First and 10 UD. Modern and Enders flank on the near side of the field for the Trojans. Now they're going to send Enders over on the other side of the field this time with uh, Booth and Hoover in the backfield. 
Oh, now we're going to have a penalty again on somebody. Well, once again, the Trojans are called for an illegal procedure penalty, and that has happened too often tonight for a seventh or eighth game of the season deal here. I'm not sure what exactly is going on out there, but uh, somebody is reacting to uh, either the stunning around that Juniata is doing or something. I'm not exactly sure, but at any rate, it's first and 15. Now, again, Hoover gets a call, tries the right side this time, and dives off for a yard or so, not too much more than that. Let's see. What did he get? Oh, he got... About uh, a yard. It'll be second down and 14. Second down and 14. Looking at the Trojans now. We'll stay back a little. See if they're going to hand this one off. Up the middle with it they go. And nothing doing there. As he'll get out to maybe the 12-yard uh, line. Gaining a yard to give him a forward progress for a yard. Be third down and 13. Third and 13. Third and 13. Now we do have Mace flanked on the near side of the field. They like to go to him. Back to pass goes uh, the Trojans. The ball is tipped away. It was intended for Mace. Tipped up in the air by one of the Juniata Indians. And... Uh, Trojans will have to turn it over now on one downs. 7.53 remaining. Stop at the clock with the incompleted pass. So the Trojans are going to ask Mark Mace to boom one out of there again if we can. Running for the Trojans, number 16, Mark Center in there, Mike Weldon. Let's see if Mike can get a good snap off here. Whoops, a little high on a snap. Wow, there's one that uh, comes all the way out here and will be dead at the 44-yard line of UDA. By that time, you could see Mace get decked after he made that kick and no flag. The other time, there was a little bump on the play and they threw a flag. Now, I'm not sure if that's inconsistency or just uh, poor referee, <laughs> whatever. The ball is uh, spotted at the 44-yard line of the Trojans, first and 10, Juniata. So at least the uh, kick got the Trojans out of there, out of terrible field position now, and give the Juniata Indians some decent field position at the UDA 44. It's up to the Trojan defense now to do what they've done all night, and that is keep these guys off the board. 7.43, the clock will become the Trojan friend eventually, but it's not yet. Too much time remaining. Pass down the far side, and it's intercepted by Jimmy Enders. Picks it off for UDA. Now there's another big play by Jimmy Enders, and the Trojans get the ball back. Way to go, Jimmy. Good job out there, James. And congratulated by his teammates. So the Trojans get the ball back. They'll have it at the Trojan. We'll see in a second. Trojans first and 10 on their own uh, 24. First and 10 UDA. Again, that fog coming in here. Here's a handoff. Here comes Hoover. Hoover up the middle with it. Hoover out to the 25 yard line. Good job by that number Tony four, Hoover four, picking up five on the play. It'll be second down and five. Down by number 12, Trapper Flanky. There's that fog I'm telling you about. Gain of six on the play. Picked up six, actually. Second It'll be second down and four. Good drive that time by Hoover out to the 25-yard uh, line. Second down and about three or four. Hoover again, this time he's going to be grabbed before he gets to the line of scrimmage. There'll be a loss on the play of maybe a yard. It'll bring up a third down and five. Big third down play for Upper Dolphin, third down and five. Green drops back to pass, has some time, dumps one over the middle, it is incomplete. Incomplete and a flag on the play. And getting up slowly out there is... Uh, Mark Base. Certainly hope Mark's going to be okay. Looks like he is. But it looks like we also may have some interference called on Juniata. We do. So that'll give the Junia or the Trojans a first down and move the ball upfield for the Trojans. So let's see what happens here. 
We'll see where the final mark comes, but that's what the call is going to be. Pass interference against the Juniata Indians. First down, brings the ball all the way down here to the 40, just about the 45-yard line of UDA. Call it the 44-yard line of the Trojans. First and 10 Trojans. All right, here we go on a first and 10 for the Trojans, playing almost out in front of us. Green hands this one off. Hoover trying to come over this side. Gets his way across a couple of people. Now he breaks it into the secondary. Needs a couple of blocks. Still on his feet and finally tackled out here as number 25 Sperry brings him down for the uh, Indians. But a great carry that time again by that Anthony Hoover who just refuses to go down. Gets as many inches as he can out of every play. And boy, made a great run that time. All the way down into... Indian territory at the Indian 33-yard uh, line. Down to the Junior at a 33-yard line. Five minutes, 48 seconds remaining here in the ball game. Trojans up 6-0 and hoping to get some more here now. From the 36-yard line of Juniata, they go on a first and 10. And Officer Hoover again up the middle with a good hole that time and bursts ahead for probably 10 yards or darn close to it. It's going to be awfully close to the first down. He's in the fog out here for sure. Now the fog getting to be more of a ground fog at the moment there. And timeout called as they change the position of the change. It's first down, UDA. So again, a fine run by that Tony Hoover and another great opening up the middle there by that middle of that Trojan offensive line. Doing a good job that time for Tony once again. Sims is over in that area along with Langens. Weldon, uh, Weldon the, uh, yeah, Weldon rather, the uh, center out there for UD, working the right side of that Trojan line. They'll take as much time as they can. Now he gets a signal from the timer. And again, it's Hoover. Hoover over the right side. Lost the uh, football, did he? I think he might have. Or did he get, let's see what they rule. There's flags, flags over there. Now I'm not sure what's going on. Wait till we see. It's a personal foul probably against uh, Juniata. It is a personal foul against Juniata. So that will help the Trojans tremendously now as the Trojans get it down here. And we've got four minutes and 36 seconds remaining in the ball game. And they're going to take this one down close for UD looking for that big extra point that will be so darn important here. Extra points, I should say. <clears throat> Personal foul against Juniata takes the ball all the way down inside the 10. Gives the Trojans a first and goal from the eight-yard line, it would appear, from here. So first and goal, UDA. First and goal from the eight for the Trojans. Need six. Green looking him over. Waiting for the official back here to raise his hand. Watch this guy raise his hand. There it is. And he only has like four or five seconds remaining, I guess. Around the right side goes Hoover. Bounces off on a couple of people. Dives in the end zone. Did he get in? No. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. He's got to be close. Looks like he's at about the one. Three minutes, 55 seconds remaining in the ball game. The Trojans' last defeat, I think I did mention that, uh, back in 1998, we believe. So the Trojans would be looking to uh, get back on a winning track against these Juniata Indians who have been tough over the years and especially over the past six years. So let's see if we can drive one in here now. It's second and goal from about the one yard line. Green again will wait for the signal as we uh, utilize all the time we can. The fellow back here will put his hand up. There it goes. And again, it's gonna be Hoover. Hoover to the three, or two rather. Number 34, Anthony Hoover. Anthony Hoover to the two. It'll be third and goal from the two-yard line. Trojans actually lost one on the last play, so it's uh, third and goal from the two. And let's see if we can drive one in. It would be very big here. There's the signal. And... Handoff, Hoover again, Hoover this time's gonna try the end sweep and he's got it for six. 
12 nothing UDA, no flags on the play, and the Trojans have got some big insurance points on the board here now. Tony Hoover taking it in from two yards out and gives the Trojans a 12 nothing lead here now, and an extra point try coming up for UDA. Good drive that time and uh, good. 233 remaining now as the Trojans go for a very important extra point. Here goes Green looking back. Fires one over that way. It is complete for the extra point. Two point conversion is good. And that is to mark base number 16 from Stephen Green. And hold it. Is there a flag on this play? Yeah, Penalty there is. Flag on the Penalty flag on the play. The Trojans could not get an extra point try off. Well, the Trojans got a penalty on the last play, so disregard what I said about the nice catch. No, it wasn't nice. <laughs> Just kidding. It was a fine catch by Mark Mace, but somebody was holding, and so they'll try it again this time from the 13-yard uh, line. Back to pass he goes, looking, dumps one over this way. Man is out here. It is incomplete. Number 12 for the Juniata Indians coming up and defending on Jimmy Enders. So that goes as the incompleted extra point try, and the score now is UDA 12, and the Juniata Indians nothing with two minutes 30, uh, three seconds, I guess that is, yeah, there are two minutes 33 seconds remaining here in the ball game. So Trojans will be kicking off here in just one moment. Base has their tied up or teed up again here now as uh, we get set to kick off to Juniata with 233 remaining in the ball game. And here's the kick. It is into the fog, but coming down over this way at about the 12 yard line. He's up to the 20 and then up to the 25 and dragging himself ahead here. Now hold on here. That was a flag earlier in the ball game. But, yeah, you know, okay, now we got some flags. Somehow or another, Juniata does not like the idea of the Trojans winning one every six years. And so uh, there'll be some more stuff going on here. I don't know if we got uh, kids uh, tossed or not, but we got people throwing helmets around and whatever. So personal foul against the Indians is the call. They're getting a little upset here now. And uh, that's going to take them back to around their 20-yard line. Yep, they'll take it back to the 20. And that's where the Indians will put it in play with 225 remaining in the ballgame. First and 10, Juniata from their own 20-yard line. Back to pass he goes. Fires one over the far side. It is Enders out here to receive this pass for UDA. Jimmy Enders with his second big interception of the ball game gives the Trojans a ball back on the Juniata 40-yard line where it'll be put in play for the Trojans with 2.20 left here in the ball game. So the Trojans take over here now, and they are a pretty happy and confident bunch of young fellas out here right at the moment, I can tell you that. Fog and Hayes get back here and give you an idea what it actually looks like here. A little foggy, a little hazy. Not the first time it's been this way up here, but <clears throat> Trojans looking at a first and 10 from the 41 yard line of Juniata. Head off and coming over this way is Tony Hoover. Tony. Yes, knocked down down here. And uh, there's no gain on the play. Timeout called. There must be flags out here. Yes, there are. Kids are trying to get away with as much as they can in the fog. <laughs> Unsportsmanlike conduct against Juniata. So Juniata really losing their cool here. And that's going to take the ball all the way down to the 28 yard line of Juniata. First and 10 Trojans now. The fog really settling in here. First and 10 UDA from the 28 yard line of the Juniata Indians. The handoff is to uh, Hoover again. Hoover crushing his way up the middle for about six or seven yards, we'll see. A minute 35 remaining and the clock continues to move on down here now for the Trojans. 
It's a gain of eight on the play, second down two. Ball at the 20 yard line of the second Juniata Indians. <clears throat> It has been a while since the Trojans have been here at this point in a ball game against these Juniata Indians, and they will savor this one for a while. Second down and two. This is going to be Hoover. He stopped right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on that play. It'll be third down Anthony Hoover on the and two. Actually lost the yard, we third down and three. 50 seconds remaining, and you can see the kids out here bouncing around. Dietrich bouncing around, or uh, rather a Hoover out here bouncing around a little bit. And timeout called by Juniata, I believe it is. Timeout, Juniata. 42 seconds left in the ball game, and the Trojans on top 12, nothing. And I mean to tell you, that fog is really getting dead now, folks. <laughs> I guess I don't have to tell you that. You can see it. If I get closer, it'll be a little bit better. But here's a third down play, and he's going to go down on the knee, does uh, Green. And uh, that might have done it. Well, no, we might have one more. It's 37 seconds, and they'll call time. Green. Might as well use all the time the they can, I guess. So uh, here's your scene right here at Juniata. And that is no exaggeration. That, that is simply the way it is. Got 31 seconds remaining here in the ball game. And it's 12-0 UD, and it is foggy. Actually, it's just a low fog layer because the uh, moon is actually out up above us here. But you'd never know it down here in the field. The Trojan team is out there. I can see their helmets gleaming. There'll be a kneel down here again now for the Trojans as time winds on down here. And uh, where is it? Oh, my gosh. Was that a pass play? Yeah. Oh, I never saw it. I absolutely never saw it. I thought they were kneeling down back here. Well, anyway, what a time to throw a pass. Absolutely. Penalty flag on the play. Here's the call, pass interference against Juniata. So what else can happen to the Indians tonight? We've got 25 seconds remaining in the ball game, and that will be a first down because I can see people over here dragging the stakes down. So the six are moving down the line here. The ball is at the 5, 10, 15, probably the 14-yard line of Juniata, something like that. <clears throat> 25 seconds remaining, and I, I never saw that last play, folks, as you could see. I, I lost track of Stephen Green out there. Now I see him. 25, now he's going to kneel on this one. There he goes, and that's going to do it. As the uh, Juniata, I think, are out of or are they not? Well, maybe they have a timeout left. I don't think so, though. Uh-uh. That should have done it. Final score here tonight is UDA 12. And the Juniata Indians, nothing. And so the Trojans, on a foggy night in Juniata, have picked up their fourth victory in a row here now, all of them coming in the conference, and have defeated the Juniata Indians in a really, really tough ball game here tonight. Both teams struggling to get the offense going. In the first half, the Trojans coming out and getting a score early in the third period, which gave the Trojans a 6 nothing lead, the extra point try no good. And then again here later on in the fourth quarter when they scored, and then again were unable to pick up an extra point. But they didn't need the extra point tonight as they defeat the Juniata Indians here tonight by a final score of 12 nothing. So Ray and Dale saying good night from a foggy Juniata. Safe trip home, guys. Hey, thank you very much.